matchup tonight in a cross conference battle between Old Orchard Beach and Booth Bay. This is a game that a year ago Booth Bay would win in a big upset over Old Orchard, but tonight Landon Johnson was feeling it. He had 25, then inside Brady Croto with the basket. Booth Bay's Griffin Christian hit six threes, had 21, but Old Orchard with the win in this one with the victory tonight. All right, let's move on to our next game. Let's check out. This was Gorham and Greeley. Once upon a time, this was a great Class B rivalry. Greeley led by six at the break. Here comes Gorham, Quinn Dillon for three. Then Ashton LeClaire out on the run. He had 17. Greeley responds. Hayden MacArthur making it look easy. But Gabe Michaud and the Rams with too much firepower tonight. Gorham with the 66-59 come from behind win at home. All right, let's move on tonight. Elsewhere, we had Cape Elizabeth taking on Westbrook. Cape's Owen Ty, the nice pass to Antona Deakia for the layup. Other way for Westbrook. Colvin Dumphy drives and hits the pull up. Nice finish. Then Kelson Custodio drives and the other fill up. 60 to 50. Westbrook go on the road with a nice win. All right, Wells hosting Marshwood in an AB showdown. Hawks riding Andrew Perry tonight. The tough baseline move, a game high, 18. For Wells, Spencer Carpenter getting it the high block and then the nice spin move and the touch from the big man. But Marshwood would jump out into control in this one. Ryan Essex, the nice dish for the basket and one to Liam Ternan. 52-37, Marshwood to win their 3 0. Kenny Bunk and Gray Boys going at it. Rams up four. They go on a third quarter run. Jacob Thompson, Trey Bien. Then George Lazos in transition. And this is a kiss off glass. 67 63. Kenny Buck holds on for the win. They have a big test against Westbrook next time around. All right, Lawrence taking on Coney. The reason we're showing you this one, it's Cam Dewan. Final seconds of the game. Dewan pulls up, fills it up. That's the game winner at the horn. Coney with the big win at the buzzer over Lawrence. All right, Yarmouth hosting Mount Ararat tonight. Clippers up big in the fourth when we find Matt Gotro. Driving, Gutro hits the nice floater. Then Gutro dishing, finds Stevie Walsh for the, four, uh, the short jumper on the block. And Yarmouth with a win 49-31 over the Eagles. Now on the girls' side tonight, a star at Oceanside hitting a milestone early in the year. We go to Rockland, Oceanside hosting Erskine. Audrey Mackey working the perimeter at the end of the first quarter, knocks down the three. That gives her 1,000 career points. Congratulations. It was all Oceanside tonight. The defending state champ 69 to 20 over Erskine. All right, city rivalry, Chevres and Portland. Stags take control in this one. Maddie Fitzpatrick to the hoop. She had 16 points, six rebounds, eight assists. Then Fitzpatrick inside to Emma Lizott. She had 14 points and six boards. Then on the break, Ruth Bowles with a lay in. It's all Chevres 61 to 24. All right, Oxford Hills without head coach Nate Pelletier on the road tonight at Deering. Natalie Santiago for three. She had 12 Deering with a six-point lead early on. But Oxford Hills takes over. Sierra Carson, the hoop. She had 22 and seven. Seven assists, that is. Then Carson, one of those assists to Ella Pelletier. She had 20 points and 18 rebounds. 58-26, Oxford Hills the victory. Thornton Academy at Bonnie Eagle. Tommy points for both teams tonight getting on the floor for the loose ball. For the Scots, Amelia McAvoy from downtown. It's good. Other way for Thornton. Catherine LeBlanc drives for the bucket. And it's all Thornton in this one, 61 to 40. Addison Sulikowski at 17. Falmouth on the road at South Portland. Red Riots come out on fire. Anna Brown for three. She had 12. South Portland would lead by as many as 15. Falmouth would rally. Emily Abbott for three. She had a game high 19. And Falmouth comes from behind 44-43 as Anna Turge on the game winner with 12 seconds left. Really hosting Gorham. This was all Rams in the first half. The turnover leads to the layup by Summer Gannon. And Gorham with a 26-9 lead. Then it's Julia Reed in transition. She had 11 points for the Rams. Later on, more fast breaking from the Rams. Kaylin Curtis, she had 12. 59-45 Gorham with the victory. Noble visiting Sanford. Noble, a rather senior, rather Sanford senior, Riley Hebler. Yeah, she had a lamp there maybe, but no, why would she do that when she could pull it out and knock down the three? She had 12. Then Hebler with a great feed inside the wraparound pass to Sadie Sevigny for the basket. 60 to 24, Sanford. Sevigny had 10. Lewiston visiting Wyndham. Eagles, Kylie Garrison 
getting things going in the third. She had 12. Wyndham up big. Lewiston responds thanks to Coral Morin. Her three makes it a 13 point game. She had 13. Wyndham closes the game on a 27 11 run. Stella Jarvis, the nice move to the hoop. 62 34 Wyndham to win. Greta Gloucester hosting Kenny Bunk tonight. This Patriots team can score. Izzy Morelli working inside. She had 25. Then off the inbounds, Amber Fortin with a nice little runner. Patriots up 15 10 after a quarter. For Kenny Bunk, Skylar Holder, the sophomore captain, knocks down the three, but it wasn't enough. 63-29, Gray the win. Westbrook and Cape Elizabeth both looking for their second win of the year. Olivia Manning working the offensive glass for the Capers. She had 13 to lead the way for Cape. Other way, Kylie Young drives baseline and gets the lay-in. And Taylor Hodge made four three-pointers. She had 12, 42-31, Westbrook with the win. NYA hosting Trape Academy. Emma Hale working inside for the Rangers. She had 12 points, but the Panthers would pull away. Angel Huntsman, one of her six steals. She had a game high 22. NYA rolls 65 to 40. That right there.